DJ down at Sound Source in Macon, Georgia. And I got a little tech talk for you. Um, this right here is a 2015 um, Dodge Challenger. And what I'm doing today is I'm adding amplifiers. I'm adding front, rear, and sub. So the moral of this video today is to show you the correct way and the correct stuff you need to actually make this your best project or great sound quality because it's all made by a unit called PAC. It is an AP4-CH41. And what this does is it gives you front, rear, and non-fading, which you use as a subwoofer. It also gives you a bass knob and all the goodies. It will give you a remote as well. Um, let's dig into it. Let's, let me show you what, what, what it actually looks like. So, we didn't want to cut any wires in this vehicle. Um, my biggest issue is I have one too. I have a 2019 and it's a, it's a charger as well. But um, the moral of this video is to show you, you do not have to cut these wires. Um, Pack made this um, basically plug and play type deal. Uh, and what it does is you unplug it, the main harness from in back of the radio, that harness there, and it plugs back into, the pack piece plugs into the, the main harness. And then the, the actual plug and play piece plugs back into the radio. And these will be the speaker wires from the head unit because obviously this Challenger right here does not have um, an amplifier in it. So if you have a system, it, it works either amplified or non-amplified. So it's a couple dip switches you can, you can flip on this piece right here. And for non-amplified vehicles, you know, you just flip the, you know, number four to the on position and leave everything in the up. Um, this thing will actually give you a, a remote wire out as well. And one other goodie, uh, I'll find somewhere to hide it. Um, probably, no, I'm not going to do it there, but probably in this, um, under piece right here, something, um, I'll drill a hole and, you know, he'll be able to turn up his base and all that good stuff. Um, uh, reason it being, eh, might not want to get it up here. Obviously I don't want to drill a hole in that. That piece right there probably is fairly inexpensive so if i do have to change it you know later on down the road it, it won't be an issue if you decide to trade the vehicle in but this actually keeps you from or keep someone that doesn't know what they're doing or you know want want to actually do this them themselves um or you can bring it to me uh all subscribers get 10 percent off by the way but this unit actually um keeps anybody from cutting into your stuff you just add some speed cable and I'll, I'll tap that into the remote output here right here it actually gives you so you don't have to hit the cigarette lighter fuse in the back but this this little unit right here once I you know um, straighten out all my wires and stuff I'll probably you know um, shoot a screw in here and bolt it or maybe zip tie it to that harness back there. I'll figure that out after the fact. But yeah, pop this bezel out, four screws, it's seven millimeters and it also have a Phillip head inside that seven millimeter. So either or, um, just remove the unit, unplug everything, be kind of diligent. You're not gonna wanna break this plug because you break that plug, you're gonna have to get a big zip tie and zip tie around. We've all done it, you know what I'm saying? So. Um, and these clips right here are kind of fragile, just a little bit. Dodge is pretty good about making um, good plastic pieces to actually um, go in their units. So um, just be kind of careful. Uh, use your plastic pry tools and all that good stuff. You can get them at Harbor Freight, Lowe's, Amazon, whatever. But you're going to want, you know, plastic pry tools to actually get in here to um, release those tabs so you're not breaking or damaging the thing. Don't use metal screwdrivers. You can, but hey, look, you know what happens. You break stuff. So um, that's going to be the rundown. You know, now I can, you know, like I said, just zip tie everything up, um, 
mount my base knob and I'll run my speed cable and all that good stuff. And basically I'll just run grounds and a hot wire. And man, you, you got sound, you're good to go. So if you like this video or you need anything from me, you got any questions, you can also share it. Let people know, hey, look, you don't have to cut your wires inside these vehicles because Pat does it for you. Plug and play type deal. Great sound, great product. Need anything from me? I'm BJ at Sound Source in Macon, Georgia. Have a great day.